Hello and welcome to my video today about this Meshbari that I have bought back in January 2017. This is my second Meshbari that I bought, which is Slink. And the reason why I bought it was it is just a silly reason why. <laughs> Actually, when the Vista hands came out and they were Bento, I was upgrading my avatar to Bento, so I went and bought, bought the Slink mesh body, and I went to Vista and bought the Bento hand with it. So that's why I'm, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about my Vista hand with Slink, and recently that Slink has released the dynamic hands as well, and they are bento. So I'm gonna review both in this video, and just gonna be talking the pros and cons I like about Slink. Um, Slink body, um, of course, is a well-known mesh body for men because it's built on the standards mesh, standard avatar I mean, so back in the days before the mesh bodies be, they become the hit, the major thing in SL, people used to go to slink and wear slink hands, slink shoes, and that's why I guess the reason she sells these um, parts separately, so when you buy the body, it does not contain the hands nor the feet. So this is one of the drawbacks. I I was taken back by it when I bought this body because I expected to have like a full version of this avatar to be contained in one box, rather than just going outside and I have to get the body. Then I have to buy the hands. Then I have to buy the feet. And then yeah, the the body to complete the body. I mean so. I had to buy them separately, so when it came the Vista hands with with the Bento option before the Dynamic hands by Slink, I went to Vista and then and instead instead of buying the static poses or static hands by Slink, I gave up on that and just went to get the Bento hands because that's gonna save me the money as I thought it would, and it did. But but as we can uh see in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how things are and you will be aware what's the differences here and there between the dynamic hands and vista hands. And let me start first by the body. Of course when you get the body you unpack it. You're gonna find some items inside. So I'm just wearing my own shape here. Because actually the shape that comes with this body contains two shapes and these shapes really don't work with my bento head so I'm, I encourage everyone that's gonna buy this body to make his own shape to wear it with anything he has like if he has bento um, hands he, he wants to rig to the size he likes or the head so I encourage you to just go ahead and just edit, make your own shape and save it and name it so you can just wear it whenever you wear this body. So, of course, as well, I'm not wearing their skin and this this body comes as well with some built-in skin in the HUD. And so I'm wearing the mesh body. It's version 2.04 and the physique male utility hut which is version 3.02 okay and these are the the clothing that came with the body i'm not wearing them they 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 work as an alpha layer the alpha auto alpha themselves when you wear them so it's a good add on here like the pelisa body as well when you buy the body you can find the um, the clothing that auto alpha the the layered for you you don't have to go and just hide it yourself Anyway, that's gonna 
put that away and I'm just going to go quickly here and show you as well I have the feet, sling feet, so I'm wearing the physique one and they are attached to my body. Okay, this is a major um, uh, feature here that you have the sling feet. They work fine with sling made shoes, so it just saves me the time. I normally I enjoy keeping my feet on. I don't really like to take them off when I wear, I'm trying to wear a shoe or something. I'm, I'm keen on showing that I'm wearing the mesh, so I need to be fully wearing it. I'm not just gonna hide the feet. And this option is not all as well as not in the in the hut to hide your feet or or hide the hands. I'm afraid. So I I wish that Slink uh, will add this feature inside the hut someday. Anyway. So like I said, I like to keep my feet. So when I when I wear the the shoes, I I choose the the shoes that goes well with my slink. So that's that's gonna be that's me, not anyone else. Everyone is gonna okay, gonna detach the leg and everything. And that's when you come to buy this body, you find out like you have this option to detach the hands or detach the body or detach the feet so you can select which which part you'd like to detach so moving on to the HUD itself the HUD is simple that's the version 302 it's a nice version I, I like it a lot um, it's more enhanced more advanced than the previous ones of course I haven't um, bought the, uh, the mesh before the version 2, so I, I'm aware of this HUD as it is. I'm not aware of the previous HUDs that came out with it, so you just simply click on the S, stands for Slink, and then it goes to the alpha layers. And here's what I like about this HUD, really. When you click Help, you're going to find like a small tutorial how each button represents and how to use each one of them. So it just simply helps you read and find what you need to understand when you wear the body. That's a good thing about Slink. So one of the greatest things about this HUD is just the help over the button on the corner up there. So we have also, she adds, she keeps adding cuts. That's just, you can of course, click on the, the HUD itself to hide stuff, but it takes time to really take effect on the body. That's something, I think, with the scripting here. See this area here? Let me point out for you this part. Okay, you can have like the arm pits you can hide, and they will hide really on the avatar itself. Let me zoom in to, to show you. Or easier to, let me get in a both stand and you can see these areas are just hidden right away. When I did the thing here, I did hide them. So you can actually hide or make them appear again. It's not that difficult. And this is something I haven't seen much in most of the avatars that I have came across. So this HUD is really stands out in the in their alpha terms. I really really like this part. So moving on you have also the saving quick that's that's that feature is just gonna save you time when you have a sh a shirt or a t shirt you can just simply go like that, hiding all the all the body areas and then you can go clicking on the, the sides you want them to appear and everything. So it's a nice thing. Also you have this toggle all to quickly show all of the body if you want. And you will find everything explanatory once you read them. So that's for the alpha cuts in the body that Slink has. And moving on to the layers, of course you have like the help again, you can just read what it does sometimes happen some glitches there you just gonna okay the glitch is gone 
Okay, you can have like layers here, the tattoo layer, you can just hide them or view them. Like see, I was wearing a tattoo over here. Let me, this area has a tattoo. Of course, it's, it's under my pants, so you won't not see it all fully, but when I go to show it, it gets back on. So one of the things, like you can control the underwear layer and the tattoo, tattoo layer and your clothing as well. These are default underwears and it comes with the HUD. You can just simply wear it like an applier, like it's sort of like a tattoo, but it's not mesh, so it's not just an applier. Also you have there an option for the skin to play and tint the color, tattoo, underwear, and clothing. So uh, I encourage you to go through them if you have the body and you try to see um, what fits for your needs because you actually can control and make some changes in this in these areas and they have some interesting features I must say. Moving on to the skin, these are the built-in skins that comes with the with the body itself. But since I'm not wearing them, I'm just wearing my the skin that matches my Vista hands. So I had to go and buy them for my head and body. So I'm not really wearing the skins that comes with the body. Moving on to the effects, and this is a cool feature here. When you go to the effects, you have like the option to get the body full bright and you can set the glow of the body so it just let me quick demo what's that mean so when i click full bright the body itself like glows it has an over and over if i glow if it's it's on like that it's just makes it distinguish the body and the details and everything you can just simply see it on the skin when you zoom in a bit you can see the differences let me show you the difference because i have like vista hands and i have the body by slink so these are not the vista does not um follow the um, the option from the hud so then that's gonna normally be there's a difference in the coloring from the hand and I hope you can see it. I'm trying to zoom in as much as I can, but you can see the difference here. There's like a semi line that's where the cut of the mesh itself for the Vista hand Vista hands and this is the skin for my slink. Let me try to switch that off again. It takes time to work and it's gone right now. Again see it's dimmed a little bit, so it's, there's a difference. But this option, really, what I found you to use to use for, it's used very useful when it comes to the seamless line, lines on my neck. When I zoom into my neck and I try to hide the line, although that the skin that matches the the body and the head itself is just by one skinner. And when I go full bright, you can see the difference here. And oh, there's an option here in my head, my HUD. You can simply turn on the full bright. And as you can see, the mat it matches nicely there. See, that's when the head is bright. Something something messed up with my scripts here, so I'm just toggling between the this one should be on, goes off, and this should be on because the off is on. Just switch it. I don't know for some reason. Anyway, oops. Anyway, so like I was telling you, you need the body with the full bright. Something as well messed up my my settings here for some reason and you can see the, um, the skin layer and uh, the skin property you can change. Also this is the glueciness and, and environment so you can just also increase them or decrease them whatever you like to give you the olive oily feeling for the body and let me just
quickly turn off the head. <clears throat> and if you, you can see the glow value, this is gonna be interesting. If you if you have for some reason wanted to make like your character have its own glow, that's extreme extreme glow. You can just you can see that it's very ex extreme. And that works with the whole body. Again, my vista is not going to be affected by this, but the slink and dynamic hands should work. I have no reason why it did not work here. I'm wearing the demo dynamic hands, but the hands really gets the effect and works well with the um, with the HUD. And if you want to switch that off, you just simply click zero, and the ba the body is back to normal. So that's about Fulbright. This is just useful when it comes to covering up your seamless neckline or just if you want to glow, <laughs> if you want to make your body glow. Then you have the tattoo, so you can just always make the tattoo Fulbright as well or make the areas on your skin where the tattoo is glow as well. So. Another thing here in the layer for your tattoo, undershirt, underpants, shirts, and pants. You can just always, always like mess up with the values here if you want to change everything you want for the body. It's not just a cool feature. I haven't seen any hunt that contains such uh, feature. Moving on again to the Vista hands, so let me zoom in a bit, a bit on the hands, as you can see, um, the Vista, oh, okay, <laughs> don't mind about the green thing, it's made mad be a gift here today, when you type something, that thing spins and rolls, I'm going to show you in the end of the video how it works, and so the, there's the, the, the HUD itself comes with... Um, Akura built-in skins and Clef Depot built-in skins. So um, that's you can just preset, you can just select them, or you can tint your own color if you like. And then you have like this area to cover uh, the hand. So just like alpha cuts for the hands, you can save the values for the skin you made. Also, there is like glove. If you want to wear some gloves on your hand, you just switch it on. But keep in mind, it's gonna not go well with um, nails here. So normally you're gonna switch to the nails, and you just gonna click no nails. So that's gonna work fine with you. It works as a glove, so you don't have really to attach the hand. That's another reason why I like this. Hot here that gives gives me the ability to wear some gloves, even if they are not some really fancy gloves, but I like them and just gloves and this is to enable the tattoo layer or to switch them off, okay, so that was the hands section, then moving on to the nails. I like the feature that you just you could select the nails how it's, how it looks like, and then add on the nail colors. That's a cool feature as well, like I could just give my hands, my nails some tattoos here, and you just simply go over and select. So that how it works, you just first highlight it, I highlight it, then you're just going to set this color you selected on this finger, so you just click it, moving on to the next, and so on, so forth. So it's just a cool idea here to give your fingers some customized nail art. So that's a nice feature. And that's how you set it all. Or you can just select one thing and and represent all the nails with this one thing that you still have selected. Then moving on to the animation. As you can see, it's a pinto. So this this are the poses you can just simply select how your hands should move 
and that's a nice thing if you want a static or you want to get some hands to be animated you simply just gonna select that by pressing on so that's gonna animate the hand and keep them working while you stand or anything without wearing an AO that contains um, Pinto, thing, Pinto option for it. So it's a cool feature as well, I must say. So moving on to this link. Here is my slink hand. So um, I didn't buy the slink hand, but it's a demo, so you can see it. Uh, same thing, actually, I'm wearing the physique option here. This is these standard sizes, but I'm, since I'm wearing the physique body, I'm, I selected this physique, physique uh, fit. And you have the option to change the nails length and also to abolish your nails as well, the same color as the same feature we saw it on the Vista hands. As you can see, my hands are, are just moving because the command from the Vista itself is on for both uh, left and right. So the animation works because this hand is a bento, is a bento hand, so that's why it's working. Moving back on here, uh, and this how do you, you get when you buy the Vista dynamic hands. You have the option for the the feet as well. As you can see, the the feet and hands, feet and hands are not included with the main hut, which is something I really, really don't like. I hope in the future that the hands and feet gets to be included in the main hut, because I don't like wearing too many huts as well. Just too many scripts running in the background. Um, uh, my head and my my slink body give me some some problems because the slink you can just kill the script, but I don't want to kill the script because it gives me the updates about what's out there for the body when the she releases a new body, a new upgrade. I mean, I really don't kill the script for that reason. But as you can see, the complexity is fairly low. It's just a nice complexity for the body as well. What's the, what that means is the complexity for the mesh itself, the weight of the mesh when you have a mesh object. It has like the server, it has a weight on the server that runs on SL. So that's that value of the complexity represents like overall meshes I'm wearing and how complex they are. And you can find out um, when you kill the script, that that doesn't change the actual weight of the mesh itself. So I was thinking that's going to change, but now it's just going to stay as it is, because this is actually the weight of the mesh itself. And so overall, the body has some nice features when it comes to that in terms of the HUD, but I don't really like the molded mesh itself, the the original mesh for this body, it did not meet my expectations for the body. But like I said, this body has tons of features because I like to take photos. So I think in the option for the effect is a nice option for myself to use when it comes to adding effects to my pictures or doing something that really stands out. So again, I thank you for watching this video. Please leave me comments about the videos. If, if you like it, how to improve myself, I would be happy to answer any question you have. So I'm just trying in this series to talk about the mesh bodies for men. And I'm trying actually to point out the differences and help other guys who are out there trying to invest in their SL to make a difference to, in their appearance, to make them feel comfortable with what they wear, and to give them a better option and detail by these by watching these tutorials. They simply could uh, go on their own and investigate more if they like what I said or maybe they can go against it. I I really encourage them to 
and I hope to see them um, wearing what they like because actually it's not the point about having money to spend on on many avatars and and so on and so forth. No, the point is I like to invest my money, my lindens proper wisely, pro properly to find the suitable things that I could wear and use um, to to fit my needs. That's the whole point. So I cannot just say, well, this link is the best body here for men, nor the pleaser, nor this or that. I f I'm just representing my my point of views here. I'm not trying to impose my ideas to force someone to jump in to get link. Now take your time, try out the different mesh bodies, and form your own opinion about them first before you jump on, jump in and buy something. So it's after all, it's, it's your time, your money, and your SL. So you can uh, be wise and choose carefully what you you're looking for. So far, I covered mostly the basics here. I think, and some of the details about the body, what I like, the main features and everything. And I hope to see you in my next video when I talk more about other bodies that I have. And I will show you around um, the styles um, that I go with and how I maybe in the future make some video about how I make my own shape so you can easily get your own mesh out of the box and you start working on your shape to make it look better and to make it look proportionate the way you would be happy about. Thank you again for watching my video. Please keep me updated with your comments, your suggestions. I'd like to hear from you. If you liked my channel, you can subscribe. If you want to, I am me, I'm in the world, Thief Burner. That's my name. You can find me. I'm trying to also to write a blog about the things I come across to make a tutorial as well for people that newcomers to SL and help them help them get what they want from SL. Thank you for watching again. Enjoy your evening or morning, and I hope to make another tutorial soon to help you out. Thank you.